Hello and welcome to Taste, Euronews' culinary magazine. We are in Japan, a land of gastronomy, to discover the fish of choice for sushi and sashimi, the yellowtail. We're in the Wakayama region, where this Japanese emblematic fish is bred. Kushimoto, in the country's south, where these Kindai University researchers are behind what they call the Blue Revolution. That is, to produce fully farmed fish without catching the fry at sea. In these nets, we can see the yellowtails, known here as buri. They are one of Japan's most exported fish. So the technique here is to reproduce the whole life cycle of the yellowtail? Yes, we hatch eggs ourselves and raise the babies with love. When they're big enough, we bring them to this farm at sea, and after two years, when they reach three to five kilos, they're ready to be consumed. So these, we can eat them already? Oh yes, they're delicious. Taste is the key word here. This company exploits the commercial opportunities of fish farming innovations. It exports them to many places in the world, including Europe, where the Japanese yellowtail is appearing more and more on the menu, without having to wait for the fishing season. We are able to produce quality farmed yellowtail all year round. Before, we could not achieve the quality of the wild fish, but today, our farmed buri is of higher quality and, notably, it's fatter. The yellowtail is one of Japan's favourite fish. To understand why, we're heading to Osaka, a restaurant specialising in fish. Here we're shown how to make a successful yellowtail dish. The buri has a melting texture. It's fat, but it's not heavy. We recommend cooking it in sashimi. That's how we like it the most in Japan, and that's how I prefer it. But it's also very good cooked in the stove. Or fried. There are many ways to cook it. A Japanese poet once said, Japanese cuisine is to be looked at rather than eaten. Well, let's make a little exception. 